Cause I ride for my click I get live with my click Go get high with my click Do it die for my click Said it's all that I know Yeah, it's all that I know Yeah, it's all that I know And you can't never tell me nothing I ride for my click I get live with my click Go get high with my click Do it die for my click Said it's all that I know Yeah, it's all that I know Yeah, it's all that I know And you can't never tell me nothing You already know this where I be, dog. I ain't being cocky, but Philly what I'm reppin' Watch me check it like it's hockey I ain't tryna get it twisted If you get it, then you got me If you with it, cool If not, I'll treat you like a Tamagotchi I'ma let you down point Yeah, I never disappoint Give me something I can speed Hey, what's up, guys? I know I haven't posted in a while But I just wanted to keep you guys updated On what's been happening with the hatch I know most of you could probably point out Everything that has changed in that little teaser video But I'll walk you through it And I also wanted to paint the cowl today because it's a little bit faded and no one can get a hold of the ones for the hatches anymore and along with that I'll probably be changing out the window trim too I already have them here starting on the front I changed the lip out from the Mugen one to the BYS carbon and I actually think it flows a lot better with the car and in the other video, you probably noticed that I got some Mag Blue T37s, which I think look a lot better than the Regas that I had on here. And I paired them up with some Falcon Azinis. And in the rear, I got a uh, Jay's Racing Exhaust and the Function 7 control arms and Coney Yellows. And I also got the top hats for the ground controls also. In that I used a uh, trim paint on the side skirts to bring them back because they're pretty faded. I used SEM trim paint and that's what I'm be using on the cowl today too. And I also got the door sashes and I'll be changing out these moldings today. I almost forgot to mention I got a Gen 1 spoon duckbill and I think it matches with the lip very well. And I also have some carbon fiber mirrors that I'll be throwing on soon too. So to remove the cowl, I don't know if you have to remove the hood, but I don't want to risk scratching up the hood since I just got it back from paint, so I'm going to start by taking that off first. Down point, yeah, I never disappoint. Give me something I can spit on, watch me rip it like a joint. I'm about to take her out to dinner, guarantee I tip her. Little, but we do it big like I was a dipper. And these homies never crushing, guarantee they never busting. Dog, your flow be super weak, now go to sleep like Robitussin. I ain't trying to be that homie who can never make it happen if you Get it cracking, make that paper, keep it stacking Like I love the way it feel When she break it down for real, what's the deal? Flow is worth the meal, trick I'm about to kill Keep it trill, that's the way I roll That's the way I go, that's for show That's the way I flow, every day you know that I'm Excuse the messy engine bay, but hopefully we could start working on that soon and throw that B-Series in. But as of the cowl, I think it's just these clips right here all along the top. So I'm going to go ahead and pop those all off and then see if I can get it off. So I was wrong. Once you guys get these top clips off near the windshield, there's also going to be clips right here. Um, they kind of sit on top of the firewall and just use like a pry tool and then you'll be able to pop those off. And as you can see, there's like a lot of overspray on the cowl and that's like really faded. So this paint should really bring it back to life. And this is the paint I used on the side skirts. And the finish that comes out on it looks really OEM. Um, like on the side skirts, you can barely tell that they're painted. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this cowl up and then wipe it down. And then we'll start painting it. So I got it all cleaned off. And I almost forgot to take that weather stripping out, so make sure if you're painting yours to take that out, because I don't know how well that paint will stick to rubber. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and paint it now. I'll probably do like two to three coats on it. And I'll show you guys when it's done. Ended up giving it like three coats and I let it dry up and threw the weather shipping back on. And it came out really good. Really happy with how it came out. I'm not gonna throw it back on the car yet because I am gonna be working on the engine bay soon so I don't wanna get like over spray on it or anything. So I'll throw it back on once that's done. So to get to that trim piece on the outside that I want to change, you got to take out this door panel. So it'll be a screw right here, one in the handle, and then like a little clip behind the window roller, and then another screw right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off right now. So I've never actually taken out this trim before, but it looks like it's just these um, four white clips right here. So I'm going to try pulling up on it and then see if it comes out. So yeah, to get it off, all I had to do was pull up on it and those four white clips popped out of the door. And then to put it back on, you just push down on it and line it up with the holes. And it looks so much cleaner with the door trim and the door sashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other side and then it, sh it should be the same thing on the other side. Got everything done that I wanted to today. And that, like I said before, I want to start working on the engine bay soon. So I'll keep you guys updated with that. And I also want to keep posting a little more consistently. Even though it's pretty hard, I'll try my best. I'll see you guys next time. And you don't got to worry, we going to be here for a minute. Because every time we park, every time we go, every time we look down, this life is all that we